It's the final of the men's 800 metres, and we have six contenders for medals. Led at the top there by the pole, a two-time European champion, Adam Cushot. He's tasted silver in this championships before. The Spaniard Ordonez is in there as well. Drew Windle represents United States interest after finishing second in the US indoors. Look out for the Moroccan, Mustafa Smiley. Successful youth performer, Alvaro de Arriba was very impressive earlier. And Elliot Giles carries British hopes. Here they come. It's Adam Gashot. Seven wins from seven in 2018. Second in the national champion outdoors for Spain. Is Ordenez. Second at the Spanish indoors this year. And another national silver medalist is Drew Windle of the United States, drawn in lane three. In four, the world junior bronze medalist for Morocco. And here is Mostafa Smiley bouncing his way into the arena. A five, a European indoor bronze medalist for Spain, Alvaro Diarriba. Here's Diarriba. Who was certainly impressive in qualifying. And finally, the 2016 European and Here is Elliot Giles of Great Britain. And listen to the roar for that young man. Yeah, I saw Giles in the warm up area when I popped down there, and he looked extremely focused. No eye contact, looked like he was on a mission. So let's see if that comes into play in this men's 800 meter final. Those the record marks of the year it's and historically in one of the great races on track, whether it's inside or outside. But right now we're inside Arena Birmingham. On your marks. And it's the final of the men's 800 meters. So away they go, so many tactics to follow, four laps of the track of course. The shot so often happy to assess things from the back and make a late charge. Smiley though decides to go to the front in the opening exchanges. And the tactics will be so interesting here, won't they? Yeah, absolutely, I mean, shot done what he usually does, sits at the back, staying out of that trouble. Giles has definitely kind of got himself into a good position. What you don't really want to do is get yourself boxed in on the inside. So you can see he's, he's running slightly to the outside of the lane. No chance of him getting boxed in. Quite good tactics. Also means if he wants to do any overtaking, he can, he's, got, he's in a really good position to do so. The noise level lifting, the atmosphere, the tension rising. The Ariba in second from Spain, just having a little look over his shoulder. And Cachot is making a move here. We've got two laps to go. We're halfway through this 800 final. There's a little bit of jostling. The shot's gone quite early in many ways by his standards. Watch Giles going along the back straight as well, just moving up into fourth place. The shot, and it's uh, Ordenez of Spain. Yeah, and Ordinez just there is looking and going outside his lane just to keep Kashok from overtaking him, but here Kashok goes. He's got the big finish, the two-time European champion, a silver medalist four years ago in Sopot. He may have decided that this is his time, that this is his moment, that he wants to strike out for home early and to cure what would be a huge gold medal for Poland. And Kashok looks like no one can stop him. Ordinez is trailing in his way. Giles is holding on for a bronze. Windle is coming, but it's Kashot's gold, and it's second place for Windle coming through at the end there. 147-48, and he's done it in a world indoor title. Adam Kashot. He has a, appeared on the podium twice with World Championship silver medals, but now it is gold, and he will wrap that Polish flag round him with so much pride as the champion here in Birmingham. Yeah, that wasn't a very fast time, 147.47. Not very fast, but it was a very tactical race. He actually, Kashot actually came in here with the second slowest season's best with 146.47. There were five guys already in the 145 range. So he ran a really, really good tactical race and another win. Unbeaten this indoor season.
Ordinaires of Spain got the bronze medal in what was a really tight finish. He edged out Elliot Giles as the home fans were trying to roar him across the line and onto the podium. The other Spaniard was in fifth. Smiley in Morocco, perhaps slightly disappointed with his sixth. And he will come again, but yeah, that's what it means. Adam Kashop, champion. Yeah, he's a very, very, very confident and good indoor 800 metre runner. It shows how much it means to him. And here you go, going into the bell. Tony, why don't you tell us what you saw? Well, you see a man who's decided quite clearly that he wants to lead this from the front. There was going to be no late drama. He wanted to take this field by the scruff of the neck. And as the sprint started, the battle was on. I have to say, Windle did really well from the position he was in uh, to come round the outside and uh, sneak in and get the silver medal with a really good finish ahead of Ordinez, the Spaniard. But it's to shots moment. Yeah, he is, and you know, slightly disappointed for Giles, obviously, in front of the home crowd. He nearly had, he just didn't have enough in the tank in that last 50 metres. Another update on the final of the men's 800 metres. Kashot of Poland took the goal, but Drew Windle's been reinstated after an appeal, and he is back in the silver medal spot. Ordinaz of Spain gets bronze. It means that Elliot Giles of Great Britain is now pushed so back out with us to help to celebrate the performances place. of some of the athletes we've seen here in action at Arena Birmingham this evening. More medal ceremonies on the way.